Uh, so this one is called The Pantomime Horse. That sounds innocent. <laughs> it's not going to be. No, it's that's what I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, we have a name as well. This guy's called Captain Thunder, but spelt with an F. So I didn't <laughs> say that in a stupid way for anybody out there. It's like this guy can't pronounce his THs. Captain Thunder. Captain Thunder. <laughs> Under. Uh, I come from a small town in Derbyshire. I thought it was complete bullshit when Kev told me about it. Is he really throwing Kev under the bus? <laughs> uh, about the pantomime horse. But everyone who was around back then confirmed it, and a couple even claimed to be eyewitnesses. Uh, it was back in the 1980s. Ah, oh, so pre-Reddit. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Nice. Mm, Get away with anything on in papyrus the 80s. paper, this one was. <laughs> um, it was back in the 1980s in an area... Uh, uh, area of town known as Tin Town. Again, this guy's like narrowing it down. There's now only a few people that could know this. This means it's all true. This, yeah. this yeah. definitely happens. That's a There's, detail, yeah. All right. There is going to be a newspaper report of this. Uh, Tin Town in Fiddle Corner. Like, okay, I added that. <laughs> uh, this small estate has a bit of a reputation. This story revolves around the one of the odd families. Uh, you know, the sort they stick to themselves, front garden looking like a complete the overgrown grass rumours of incest I was about to say that sounds like me until the rumours of incest <laughs> <laughs> I agree with almost everything else but I'm not sure I know that much about the fact like if you know about that f- up family I suppose you do hear rumours about them don't you yeah, yeah, invariably yeah. none of it true but it doesn't matter mm. First, no, let's no, go with the benefit of the doubt on this one I'm no smoke enough, I, no. <laughs> although actually I've never been to Derbyshire so actually I'll give them the benefit of the doubt <laughs> Uh, there was Any a mum. From Derbyshire, <laughs> <about two brothers? laughs> there was a mum and two twin brothers living in the house. Uh, one day, an ambulance pulled up outside the house, and the paramedics rushed inside. The town, uh, sorry, in this town, everyone is so interested in everybody else's business that you practically can't even take a shit without your neighbour popping their head through the window to ask how it smells. So an ambulance gathered a bit of a crowd. The paramedics reappeared. Uh, they were wheeling out the stretcher. Uh, with what appeared to be two people on it, covered by a white sheet. <laughs> I'm so here for this. I'm so ready. Ah, I love this. So what happened is the two brothers... What happened is the two brothers... <laughs> used to... <laughs> oh, no. I gotta f***ing do it. The two brothers used to bum each other. <laughs> <laughs> and wanted to experiment a bit more. So the brother who was doing the... Oh, gee, how, they really do know a lot about each other, <laughs> these people. The brother who was doing the penetrating <laughs> decides to put his balls in two. Of course, the bumhole immediately suctioned the two balls inside <laughs> and got stuck, <laughs> causing a huge amount of pain. Or oh, no, sh- Sherlock. <laughs> from Mr. Penetrator. And... An uncomfortable situation for all involved. I mean, stating the well, bit of the yes. office, yeah. right? Okay. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I was oh not involved. Days. So we've had a couple of <laughs> moments. Uh, the old Dyson vacuum If you just, if you just fart, that'll pop around, though. It's like something, I don't know, it's like soft sea creature. You know, you see those videos where they're like... <laughs> what happens next? At what point do you go, Mom... <laughs> <laughs> what do I mean, you say when she comes in? The funny part is, is the next sentence starts with one embarrassing explanation to mum. <laughs> and a 999 call later. These two were being wheeled out of their house <laughs> on all fours with a sheet over them. So the sheet was, was an honesty sheet. It wasn't that I f-ing hope this doesn't end in the two of them dying. That would change things. At this point, who knows? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, in, uh, what is it? We're at the sheet. But hang on, what happened? They wheeled them out. They wheeled them out. <laughs> They're on all fours, sheet covering. Right. To cover their modesty as the entire estate looked on. There you go. Uh, all you could see was the shape of these two bent over each other with with four feet sticking out from under the sheet. And so, I love where this is going. I already see it. So the head's covered but the feet are sticking out. Hence the name Pantomime Horse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. That, Rumors way, of incest. That's a weird nativity play. Oh. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Pantomime horse. Wow. Derbyshire. Derbyshire. Oh, I'm, Derbyshire. I'm sorry. The <laughs> tourism industry is going to plummet. Or actually. Or it's going to skyrocket. Like, like, yeah. Although the brothers have, have, according to this, they moved away not long after that. <laughs> well, yeah, you'd have to. Because and I've got the, them here today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like that. I'm. Do you reckon it's like the you know the the uh, the old pope relocating them? You know, rather, they didn't learn a lesson from this. They're just doing it somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Oh, it's all sorts. Be warned, Scunthorpe. <laughs> Coming for you. <laughs>